finally, a glimmer of hope as the COVID-19 vaccines arrived at hospitals across the country. Just a little pinch, no pain. And healthcare workers at this hospital in Nashville, Tennessee, are hoping to motivate others by rolling up their sleeves first. To step up and show everybody that, you know, I'm willing to take the step, take the step with me. There's a lot of misinformation going on and people are just scared. I want to be one of the first people to do it so I can pass on that comfort to someone else. Tennessee has one of the highest daily case averages in the U.S. So the vaccine couldn't have come at a more dire time. This is a historic moment for all of us. You know, this, uh, I believe it's the beginning of the end of the pandemic, COVID pandemic. We've been struggling since March and this will make a big difference. So far, the state has received over 56,000 doses from Pfizer covering 74 hospitals. Getting the vaccine in the moment was um, exhilarating. I was excited. It didn't hurt at all. The Pfizer vaccine requires two rounds of treatment. Doctors inject the second dose 21 days after the first. That's when patients may notice some mild side effects, such as flu-like symptoms. I was a little nervous, but truthfully and honestly, it was probably one of the easiest vaccines that I've received. Factually incorrect rumors about the COVID vaccine are spreading on social media. Last week, Twitter announced it would follow in the footsteps of Facebook and YouTube by removing these types of debunked claims. Healthcare workers hope those efforts help. The more people that can get vaccinated, um, the quicker that we can see an end to this pandemic and a little bit of return to normalcy for us. The pandemic has taken a big toll on Dr. Prakash Patel and his staff. So we have a sick patients uh, starting March until today. I was in ICU rounding, uh, seeing sick patients on the ventilator, on the, on the high flow oxygen. And I'm proud of my staff and all the hospitals workers. Nashville has been particularly hard hit. Right now, less than 10% of ICU beds are available in the city. While Dr. Patel didn't get sick, his teenage daughter did. Luckily, she was able to stay home and quarantine herself, and uh, she's in high school, but I mean, she did very well with, with you know, um, getting better with COVID, yeah. Now, Dr. Patel is one of the first in the state to receive Pfizer's vaccine. I'm very excited about it. As the needle went in, many reflected upon a year they could have never imagined. Coming into infectious diseases, you know that you're going to be taking care of people with um, contagious infections. and. Um, things that can put you at risk, um, but nothing, anything like this. Having patients dying alone because we can't let their family members come and risk getting sick themselves. Being there and being that hand for them, it's just been really heavy on the heart. So I'm really encouraged that we're on the upside of this. If 80 to 90% of a population gets the vaccine, doctors say we can stop the pandemic. It's a chance to know that we are going to be not only protecting ourselves, we can eventually move into a post-pandemic uh, life where uh, you know, we'll have um, immunity to this and we can move forward with resuming normal life. Until then, experts are urging people to keep their distance and wear masks. This is an encouragement for me. It gives me hope that, you know, we have something that's going to help us on into the future. This is the beginning. There you go.